Good day. Welcome to King Wilmer's Everything. I had to get a grease gun. So I went on Amazon and got this one for 20 bucks. I got one. I actually got several. I got this little one. And this one's great. The only problem is it's got a solid little snoot on it. So if you want to get in under something, around something, you can't do it. And I'm out of grease. So it's like, you know what? And, I, and the thing is, I got a very expensive, fancy one with the pump on it and all that crap. Can't find the darn thing. So I'm kind of at the point where I had to get a new one. So I got this one, 20 bucks. Let's see, Rex uh, 023, part number, heavy duty coupler with no drip cap. Ergonomic T handle, ooh. We can kind of see it's it's a squeezy grip. It's not one of the pump ones, so this should make it a little easier. If you gotta use both hands, it's kind of hard. Uh, so working pressure, 6,000 PSI. Hmm, double strut, three times power, more powerful than with a single one. Uh, chrome plated, which makes it faster. Double air vent head cap. Positive lock for easy loading. So, you get the hose, which is, eh, it's okay. And the little metal fittings, so if you want to do a solid uh, greaser thing, you know, get in somewhere just squirt grease and bearings or something like that, you can, can do that. I'm going to use the hose. Let's open the hose up. Let me get her open. Come on, baby. Come on. There we go. And let's see. You gotta put the fitting on. Oh, we gotta put the fit. You gotta put it all together. I guess they let you do whatever you want. So let's take out the fittings. Might as well look at them. So you can get. Let's see. Where's all the fittings? <coughs> okay, so you got the little. This is probably like for filling up bearings, something like that. And I guess this you can do use use one of those to make it solid, a little solid piece. I'm not gonna use those. Oh, here's another piece. And oh. Oh, it came with two of these. Two of the, that's kind of nice. The little Zerk fittings, that's really cool. I don't know if it really matters which one goes to which. I guess, let's see, the spring goes to this piece. I'll put her on there. Come on, baby, get in there. All right, it's making me mad already. There we go. Now I'll get some wrenches and tighten them up nice and neat later. And then, oh yeah, here's the gun. It's got the, oops, little greasy, little pump handle, so that's pretty cool. And it's got a little air release, so you can, when you're first put your grease in there, I guess you can, if there's any air in there, let it out. You can see it's all loose. And at the bottom, it's got a little rubber grip, and that'll be ruined pretty quickly. Chrome, ooh, chrome, you know, that'll last about, and a sticker on it, so the sticker will probably come right off. But I guess that makes sense to have the little air relief thing. Not sure. I guess you can take this out if you want it to come out straight. But I'm going to go old school and put it right in. Come on, baby. Let's see. I can get this in there. Come on. Hang on. I got to get this over here. I don't have enough room with the camera in the way. It's going. It's trying. It's trying. But uh, you got to have a grease gun. At least I had to borrow the neighbors. And, of course... You know, give me the one without grease in it, and then he gave me another one without grease in it, and then I filled them with grease for him. And at that point, I was all greasy, and just to fill up a couple Zerk fittings, um, not so happy. But uh, so it's kind of what you get. I thought that would be a good idea, <coughs> a good idea to have the the pistol grip, so I can pump with one hand, and sometimes you got to hold a little snoot on the the Zerk fitting. So I'm gonna to, let's put some grease in it. Let me let me go get the grease. I got some grease. I got the Chevron Heavy Duty Grease 2. Multipurpose grease that stays put for severe service. Extended lubricant and rules, extreme conditions. I had some nice uh, marine stuff, but I can't find it. That I had open because I was digging a little bit out. So we're gonna use this one. Of course, you gotta remember when you stick these in, this goes to the top. Don't put this in the bottom, you'll never get your plunger in. And of course, you take this piece off. Ooh, very nice grease. Let me sniff it. Ooh, smells greasy. Pop the Pringles can. Put that in there. And let's see. There we go. It's pretty tight. I'm never sure if you should load it from the bottom or the top. I'm not sure what this does here. Oh, this lets that release. I don't know. Can't tell. Maybe this one moves from the top. I think 
We're gonna load it from the top. No instructions in here. Another grease gun's load from the bottom. I guess since this kind of is more heavy duty at the top, it loads from the top. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, so there we go. There we go. Pull that out. And remember, the pop top goes to the top top. And booyah. Like so. Do we get her open all the way? Hold on. It's got one mean spring, baby. There you go. It has a tough spring. There. Perfect. Ooh. I got grease on me. I used a grease gun before. Uh, I really used one. You'll know it gets quite greasy really quick. There we go. And then we'll release this fellow. Release. Okay. To get the grease loaded, you have to pull this while you're pushing that, and then it'll release it. Otherwise, it's, it's stuck. It's kind of like a stopper. So if you pull this out, it gets stuck. So pull it, pop it, and you can see it kind of gets the grease in. And then you don't have to prime it. I did push the air thing. It didn't seem like it did anything. But as soon as I started squeezing this fellow, let's see if we get some juice to come out. She's coming. I can feel it. There we go. Oh, yeah. There it goes. Oh, yeah. It squirted on me. Yeah. There you go. I think this is going to be awesome. Although, now I'm all greasy. I'm greasy. Now, with my little mitts off here. But I kind of take it. Oops, sorry about that, guys. Sorry about that. Uh, I don't really like the chrome thing because it's really slippery. And the little rubber thing, I guess, is a good idea. The problem is, oops, it's already kind of slid up a little bit, which is fine. It's more for a grippy thing. I don't know if that's going to do much good. Uh, but I think this is going to be pretty cool. I'm going to tighten it all down. See, I got a little leakage here, but I didn't put any thread lock or any, or any um, uh, Teflon tape or anything on it. I just stuck it on. And I'm going to tighten down all the fittings. I think we're going to be very happy. Because I definitely need a grease gun. At least I need a big one. You don't use it a lot, but when you do use it, you know, it's like, son of a gun, I need a grease gun. So you can see it's pretty sweet. I'll be happy with it. I'm going to start greasing. i got some things to grease. i got to grease the mower. i got some other fittings. And we'll go from there. So I'll let you know later on if it sucks. If it's good, I won't say anything. But I'll probably put a review on Amazon. So there you go, the Rex Spitty. Heavy duty grease gun, 400cc from the Amazon.com. And no instructions, but I guess they figure you're smart enough to know how to put it together a grease gun. Yeah, there were no instructions in here. But anyway, there you go. A couple parts. I got some extra pieces and parts. Sounds kind of neat. They give you a second one of these. I don't know if that was an accident or maybe it'll break. I don't know. But I thought that is really cool that they did that. So there you go. 20 bucks. Grease gun. Have a great day.